Hi, my name is Martin Blazer. I've written a new book which is called Missing Microbes. I've written this book to sound an alarm. And I'm writing about changes in the microbes that live in the human body. I think this is important to you and to your children and to your grandchildren. So antibiotics came on the scene in the, essentially in the 1940s. And when they first were discovered and used, uh, they were miraculous. They could cure people who had infections that would have been fatal before. And because they were so miraculous, doctors started expanding the use of antibiotics to more and more conditions. Conditions that were not fatal infections, but milder conditions. And as a result, slowly, inexorably, we've gotten to the situation where now, every year, there are more than 40 million courses of antibiotics that our children take. And what that means is that the average child in the United States, by the time they're two, they've had three courses of antibiotics. And by the time they're 10, they've had 10 courses of antibiotics. By the time they're 20, they've had 17 courses. These numbers seem high, but in fact, other studies have shown the same thing. So the antibiotic exposure of our kids is, is dramatic. Now, at the same time, as we're using a lot of antibiotics, lots of diseases are rising. Asthma has become highly prevalent. More than 10% of kids have asthma. Food allergies, which were very rare, are quite common. Peanut allergy, which was quite rare, is now commonplace. So one of the questions is, where are these diseases coming from? And in my book, Missing Microbes, I talk about the hypothesis that the change in our microbiome, especially in young children, especially caused by practices like cesarean section, antibiotics, use of sanitizers, use of formula, are helping drive the change in the microbiome that is leading to the increased risk of these diseases.